Hi everyone, in this software tutorial I will show how to create this retro animation. So let's start with the new composition. I will name this retro sun animation and I'm going with full HD 1920 1080 and 24 FPS and 3 second low. Let's give this bit dark gray color. Hit OK. Now select the uh, ellipse tool. We don't need any stroke, so let's turn off. Go to fill. We are going to add a gradient, so let's select the linear gradient. Hit OK. I'm going with this color. You guys can uh, copy and paste. If you guys want to add any other colors, simply press here and it will add a new slide and then you can change it if you guys want to delete it press delete hit ok now let's add a ellipse so you can see that anchor point not in the middle so select the layer and press ctrl alt home on the keyboard so it will reset our anchor point now go to align tools let's align it to the middle like this now we can adjust our gradient so select the selection tool go to ellipse and select the gradient field you can see the slider for the gradient we can drag it down drag it up like this great now let's rename this retro sun okay now we can remove this now let's add a stroke we don't need any fill so let's turn it this off we are going to add a stroke so i'm going with gray color if you go to composition we can copy this exact color so copy quickly and paste ctrl v to paste so it's the same color like the backgrounds okay now let's add a line it's not the middle so control alt home on your keyboard and it will reset the endpoint so let's align it we can just copy and drag it like something like this but it's a bit stressful right so let me show you a quick tip so go to content shape here we can add repeater if you go to transform repeater option now set this to zero now we can drag this y value as you can see super easy now go to copies we can increase this I'm going with 30 now we need to loop this so the super easy way if you drag it up snap this to the edge like this if you go to down set this to down as well so let's adjust it like this now both lines are aligned with comp now we can animate it i will name rename these lines press p on your keyboard so it will open position properties now create a keyframe go to two second and go one frame forward and then hit end on keyboard now go to two second mark and drag this up now stop this exactly like the first frame of the animation like this if we press this press bar on the keyboard and it will loop
Now make sure you retro sign in the below. Set the track mate to alpha inverted. Now we can add some glow. So select the retro sign and add glow effect. Make sure you set the glow based on alpha channel and we can increase the radius like this pretty cool and that's about it guys and thank you so much for watching if you guys like this content please hit the like button and share it with everyone have a great day